First reading, a reading from the prophet Micah, chapter 7, verses 14 to 15, 18 to 20. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your inheritance, that dwells apart in a woodland, in the midst of the Carmel. Let the feed in Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of old. As in the days when you came from the land of Egypt, show us wonderful signs. Who is there like you, the God who removes guilt and pardons sin from the remnant in his inheritance? Who does not persist in anger forever, but delights rather in clemency, and will again compassion on us, treading underfoot our guilt? You will cast into the depths of the sea all our sins. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and grace to Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 15, verses 1 to 3 and 11 to 12. Tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So to them Jesus addressed this parable. A man had two sons, and the younger son said to his father, Father, give me the share of your estate that should come to me. So the father divided the property between them. After a few days, the younger son collected all his belongings and set off to a distant country, where he squandered his inheritance on a life of dissipation. When he had freely spent everything, a severe famine struck that country, and he found himself in dire need. So he hired himself out to one of the local citizens, who sent him to his farm to tend the swine and he longed to eat his fill of the pods on which the swine fed, but nobody gave him any. Coming to his senses, he thought, How many of my father's hired workers have more than enough food to eat? But here am I, dying from hunger. I shall get up and go to my father, and I shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as you would treat one of your hired workers. So he got up and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father caught sight of him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But his father ordered his servants, Quickly, bring the finest robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Take the fattened calf and slaughter it. Then let us celebrate with a feast, because this son of mine was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. Then the celebration began. Now the old son had been out in the field and on his way back. As he neared the house, he heard the sound of music and dancing. He called one of the servants and asked what this might mean. The servant said to him, Your brother has returned and your father has slaughtered the fattened calf because he has him back safe and sound. He became angry. And when he refused to enter the house, his father came out and pleaded with him. He said to his father in reply, Look, all these years I served you, and not once did I disobey your orders. 
yet you never gave me even a young goat to feast on with my friends but when your son returns who swallowed up your property with prostitutes for him you slaughtered the fattened calf he said to him my son you are here with me always everything i have is yours but now we must celebrate and rejoice because your brother was dead and has come to life again he was lost and has been found this is the gospel of the lord my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ in today's gospel we listen to the famous parable of the prodigal son or the merciful father in this parable i would like to highlight the two natures of the son both the elder son and the younger son both of them they did not know who they are and they did not know the who the father is the nature of the father they wanted to be separate one wanted to separate from the father go and squander everything spend everything what he what he owe and at the lowest moments of his life he returned to the father trusting that the father will be merciful and that moment at the lowest moment of his life he came to his senses he knew who he was at the lowest moment of his life he knew who he was and then who the father is and then he prepares his confession at that moment okay i will get up and go and tell my father father i have forgive i have sinned against you and heaven forgive me the rest we heard the second character the son the elder son he too did not know who he was and who the father is because he came and he told the father i was working for you as a servant day and night but you didn't even give me a calf to celebrate with my friends he thought himself he thought of he thought he is a servant servant of the father and thereby he mis interpreted his role he is a son he has all the rights but he thought of himself as the servant and then he thought the father was a strict father he never cared for him and thereby he didn't want to reconcile with the younger son his brother dear friends we too fall into this category we sometimes we forget who we are we are sons and daughters of god and god is a merciful father who is waiting for us for us to come and tell god father i sinned against you please forgive me we are called this lenses and dear friends to do a good and a honest confession the priests are there in the church waiting we just have to go like the younger son prepared the confession at this lowest moment of his life he realized nothing is working for me i am so down then he realized who was i i was the son i had like this i i lived like that but now i am like this and my father was like this i'll get up and go and tell prepare my confession and i'll confess to my father saying father forgive me for i have sinned and father sees that thing father sees that this son is coming and he runs towards the son let us this lent season dear friends use it to do an honest good and a beautiful confession that unites us to this beautiful merciful father amen